Hello everyone, I am Emily Powell, an energy intuitive healing practitioner, and today I'm going to be doing a demo session on myself. So if you have never done an energy session with me before, you can get kind of a feel for what it's like. Okay, so I noticed that my system was a little nervous to do this in front of people. <laughs> so I've been trying to just ground it extra before this. Oh, okay, so let's see. Let's see how it goes. I am going off of just whatever comes up as top priority. But first, let me give a little bit of info. So um, at the beginning of a session, I'll check in to see if the system needs help getting into a state where it can release and process things well. And then I ask the system if there's any top priorities, any urgent fires that it really needs taken care of first. It's gonna be the most product productive thing to do. And then after that, when it says like, okay, all right, I'm ready, let's do this. Then I'll typically ask if there's a top priority um, coming up that the system is gonna be most productive. So I'll ask a client what they'd like to work on. Sometimes they might say, I have some knee pain going on. I also have a rash and I'm feeling nervous about a job interview next week. Then I'll make a list of that and I'll ask the body if, it's, if it happens to have a priority of which order it needs to work on those things. Because sometimes it will. Sometimes what's causing the rash is also causing the nervousness for the job interview. And so the body, it's kind of like an umbrella issue that's causing this issue and this issue. So the body, if it knows that something's going to need to be done first before working on something else, or that it would just be faster, then it will say, ooh, this is top priority. Start here before working on these other things. So... That is what I'll be doing here as well. All right, so I use uh, muscle testing, applied kinesiology, and I like to do ring and ring method. So I'll just be doing that down here. You might not be able to see. And I also use intuition. So let's dive in. Emily as the client. Okay, I'm centered. Anything else I need to do to get centered? Okay, ready to go. All right, are there any top priorities, or urgent priorities? No. Okay. Is there anything that would be helpful to do before going into um, a topic or an issue? No? Okay. I did center and ground before this, so my system's right ready to go. Um, I have at times had clients come in who are very ungrounded, not um, aligned in their system, not in their body, um, aura, all kinds of things not in a centered state where their body can process things. And so sometimes that's like the main focus. Like we need to do work to help get them present. Because if we're not centered, then even, let alone releasing any um, baggage from previously, that's kind of cluttered up our system like gumballs, like a gumball machine, if you watch that video. <laughs> um, so let alone trying to release old baggage and get rid of it, if the system's not centered, it's not gonna do that so well. Plus, new things, everyday life. If a new experience has come in, that's like, oh, this is really stressful or scary. Having a hard time processing this if we're not centered, it's not gonna process as well. Okay. <laughs> this is my first time. I noticed that YouTube also has lives. I thought, oh, I could do that. But that feels even, I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that next time. Okay. All right. So, okay. No urgent priorities. So now let's tune in. Can I work on whatever issue I want? No, there is something that's kind of more pressing that's going to be best. I always trust the body. If it says, uh, trust me, we really should go over here first, then I'll do it. Okay. So, um, is this something I've been working on? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go through a list in my head of topics that I've been working on processing. Okay, teamwork. Is there anything else I can work on before that? No, okay. All right, so let's dive in to teamwork. Um, okay, so what needs to be done here? There's obviously something, some baggage or something that's not going well with teamwork. Okay, I'm having certain ideas come to mind of which areas in my life this applies to. Do I need to know more about other areas? No, so there's just a few areas really where there's some glitches and some baggage around teamwork. Okay, 
Um, so I need to understand, it feels like I need to understand more about it. So I'm just gonna go through a list in my mind of where exactly the issue is with teamwork. Is it safe to do teamwork? Yes. Is it okay to do teamwork, to be collaborating, working in a team? Yes. Um, I'm just gonna go through a list here of different areas where blocks could be. Do I want to do teamwork? Mm, that's that's like a, a little bit, but mostly no. Okay, so some part of my system doesn't want to do teamwork. Do we need to start there? No. Okay, so I made a note of that. Um, is it going to be okay if I do teamwork? Yeah, mostly. Um, there's a little bit of weakness there. Do we start there? Yeah, okay. Um, it's coming up at like 70%. That 70% of my system feels like it's gonna be okay if I engage in teamwork in this area of my life. And there's a little bit that's like, I don't know, I think it might not be, go well. I think it might not go well. Yeah, that test really strong. Okay, all right, so should we do goal questions or issue questions, goal questions? All right, so in order for me to experience fantastic, synergistic, smooth, um, uplifting, beneficial teamwork in this area of my life, does something need to get released or added or understood? Released. Okay, so is there some root underlying imbalance that can be released from my system in order for it to be more okay with doing teamwork, in order for me to get to that goal of it being smooth and being able to fully engage? Yeah, okay, do I need to identify it? Ooh, I get a no for that. That makes it a little faster. Um, do I need to know anything about it? Yeah, is it, is it mine? No, is it absorbed? No, is it inherited? I've had a lot of inherited stuff come up lately for myself. Um, I guess it's a great season to clear inherited stuff. Okay, do I need to know more? Do I need to know who it's from? Yeah. Anyway, I'll do that privately, so as to not... <laughs> Uh, make it public. Um, yep, so I inherited some, inherited block did how many generations? Just one, okay. All right, do I need to know more about it? Can it clear now? Not quite. So what needs to be known or done in order for this to clear? I need to know that other people also inherited it. Um, other people, yes. One other person, cool. Do I need to know who? Nope. All right, so can I clear it now? No. Um, do I have my own portion, matching portion of it, of like what I've created? No. Does something else need to get released first before this will be able to release? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's make a note of that. An inherited um, energy block. And it could be a trapped emotion. It could be um, a belief. It could be, all. there's all kinds of things, but I didn't need to know. And I like, and that's fine. When that happens, I'm good. I, I don't need the details. I just need as many details as are needed in order to clear it. So it makes things easier. All right, so is there, there's an imbalance that needs to clear before this one. I'm, my system will be ready to clear that inherited energy. Do I need to identify what it is? Yeah, is it in the body code? Yeah. It's an energy. Okay. It's a negative energy, a very negative energy. Do I need to know more? Do I need to know the effect it's having? Do I need to know how long it's been trapped? Do I need to know where it is in my system? Yeah. Um, uh, above the diaphragm, below, in headspace, almost neckish space. On um, the left side, front, back. Huh. Okay, it's like right around here. <laughs> Um, front left um, portion of neck space. Do I need to know anything else? Okay, can I clear it? Oh, let me double check that. Can I clear it? Yeah, anything else? Huzzah! Um, let me just check a couple other things if there's anything else needs to go with it. Okay, yay, I can clear now. Excellent. All right, do I need to do it a certain way? No. Okay, sometimes there are specifics of certain ways the system wants to clear something. 
this one's going to be simple. All right, so I've identified it. I have I consciously identified any details I needed to know, which my subconscious will will bring that it already knows, and it will say, mm, "This piece is going to be educational for you. You should know these details or this nuance." Or there's three pieces stuck together. You're going to need to know about each of them before they'll be ready to clear. Um, and then once something has been seen, understood, validated, if it needs to be um, given compassion to, if it needs to be, whatever its needs are, and then it's to help it help the body complete the processing symptom. Once that's done, poof, the system is ready to clear it, and I can just clear it with intention. Okay, clearing. All right, so let me just finish focus for a second to finish clearing that one. Sometimes it gives me a little yawn or or something, a little twitch. Sometimes I'll get a, a little stretch or contraction. Um, um, that's just fine, even if it looks funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. If I clear the inherited energy, then will this all finish clearing together? Yeah. Okay. So that first energy is mostly cleared, and as I clear the inherited energy, then it will all be done. That is ready to go? Cool. All right, so I'm breathing and releasing out that inherited energy, whatever it was that was leading my system to feel like I was kind of concerned that teamwork wasn't going to lead to a great outcome. <sighs> Clearing that out. And also whenever I clear something inherited, it helps clear from anyone living or dead who also has it, who's ready to clear it. So that's really great. I love that. Okay. Um, often when an energy um, clears from the system, you'll even feel a little lighter, like, whew, nice. Like a little half pound weight just released. Or sometimes it's like a five pound weight. It depends on what you're clearing. Okay, anything else? Okay. All right, is my system 100% happy about that work? Is there any other pieces left over now? Okay, all right, so going back to the question, um, is it going to be okay to teamwork? Uh, it's not 100% yes yet. Okay, so in order, let's go back to my goal question. Visualizing, imagining teamwork being synergistic and great and uplifting and um, beneficial. Okay, is there anything, any root underlying imbalance that needs to get cleared in order for me to arrive at that destination? Yes. Okay. Um, an imbalance, an individual imbalance? No, something I need to understand, yeah. Um, okay, then let's ask some questions or to tune into what needs to be understood here. So oh, my system gets a little mindful of <laughs> and this is gonna be in a video. Okay, come back, come back. Just focusing on the energy and the work that needs to be done on this in order to help clear out the limiting energy. Okay, is it perspective, beliefs? Okay. Oh, wow. All right. So, something needs to be understood and kind of semi-added in order to um, address what the limitation that's currently surfacing. And it's something along the lines of energetic anatomy and the ability to receive. <laughs> so, currently in this area of my life, when I ask my system if I'm able, if my system knows how to receive, you know, like give and receive, teamwork, back and forth, collaborating, it's like, eh, not really. <laughs> At the moment, we don't, we don't know how to do that fully. Okay, so I'm getting the visual of 
like um, a trough, not a trough, like a rain gutter or a channel, like an aqueduct. Yeah, some of the visual I was getting, where water can flow through the channel in this direction. And then there's a, probably another one where the water can flow in that direction. Yeah, so that one outgoing in this arena is strong. It's like, yep, that's fully intact. It's big, it can flow. And the incoming is a little bit, is not as strong. Okay, can I just power that up? Blueprint, alignment. Um, what's needed in order to help that be fully present and strong and able? And understanding. Okay, what needs to be understood in order for my system to be able and ready for that? Oh, that it's safe, okay. Um, that it's safe, anything else? Yeah. Safe in what way? Like it's safe to receive. Um, let the water flow, let water flow this way. Yeah, it's safe. Need more details, it's kind of specific. It's safe, there won't be strings attached. I won't be hurt by it, no. Um, it won't make me weak. It's not a problem that me receiving energy flow, I won't lose control or power. What is it? <laughs> um, oh, I can kind of feel something in my upper abdomen, some discomfort. So apparently, yeah, whatever <laughs> has, has made this pathway um, kind of weak, it's got a reason why it's kind of nervous. It's kind of like, ah, we really don't think that it's safe, but it's a good idea. Okay, let me ask some more questions or intuit this. And I'm not gonna worry if it's a boring video <laughs> because I'm thinking. Um, okay. It'll be safe because What's the new perspective or the new understanding that needs to be brought in? Oh, that it's good for both people. Oh, there it is. Okay, anything else? Okay, so the current perspective is like, oh no, if they're giving to me and flowing water towards me, what if they're not gonna have enough? Like what if that's draining them or depleting them? or something along those lines of like, ah, ah, I don't know if it's a, a good idea for you to send water towards me. <sighs> and then my system says like, and I ask my system like, is it okay for me to send water towards them? It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for whatever reason, it's got this perspective like, it's totally fine for me to send water to them, but for them to send water to me, like, I don't know if that's gonna be okay. Or if it's gonna deplete them, okay. All right, so what needs to be understood here? A new perspective, obviously. So I need to bring in a new perspective that will help um, enable this pathway, this channel, to be strong and healthy and be capable of receiving, of giving and receiving in teamwork in this area of my life. It's so funny, so I can connect into healthier perspectives, I can brainstorm them, and I can muscle test which of them would be nourishing for my system, would resonate, would be healthy for me to have, wouldn't be harmful, and at the same time I can feel this little piece of my energy field kind of quaking, like nervous knees, of like, ah, what's gonna happen? Or like, you know, obviously it's the part of my energy field that's holding this previous belief of like, in the past we experienced it or we perceived for it not being safe and we haven't seen I don't know if you guys have experienced that where like the majority of your system or you consciously are aware of something that's true or that's healthy um, but still some part of your system isn't hasn't fully bought in and that's because there's some it's containing trauma energies that have contrary evidence okay so the perspective is that it can be good for them that it can actually be great for them. It can be helpful. Um, so this, uh, 
Um, so the previous perspective was like that it might sometimes, sometimes might, or in general. In general, it might be bad for them to send water towards me, um, which in the context of like teamwork, if you're working on like a project together with someone and they say like, oh, hey, you look up some research sources over in that book and I'll look up sources over in this book or else if we're writing a paper together, I'll start formatting the paper while you do that and we'll do this and we'll help each other. And then, oh, you need help thinking of search words, you know, to search. Here, I'll share, I'll, I'll sh help you. I'll brainstorm with some with you. And then I have a question about the formatting. What do you think about this? So like helping each other, like just help the give and take or like give and receive. Um, and the previous perspective was it might be bad for them. Um, kind of like overgiving. Well, it's not quite overgiving. Do I need to get specific? No, but it might be bad for them. And so then my sister's kind of like, I don't know. I think I'd just rather err on the side of like them rarely or like barely sending me any water just to make sure that we don't end up in a situation where it's not good for them and like and that I won't like that that happened and so just to be safe how about I send them water they only send me a little bit of water just to make sure because like what if sometimes it's not good for them and they're kind of overextending or overgiving or or whatnot okay all right, so I've seen the limiting perspective, and now the healthy perspective is in the right dose and at the right time, it can be really good for them. In fact, not just giving it, like, oh, I have two cups of sugar, you're making a recipe, you need some neighbor. Okay, I'll give you one of mine, and now I only have one cup, so if I wanna make a recipe for a party this Friday, I'm gonna have to make a smaller recipe because I only have one now. But instead, that synergizing can equal like one plus one equals five. When people come together and collaborate, um, it can actually be amplified. Like the energy, the resources, the amount of things that are able to get done, what can get created can be, be a lot, plus we can both be fed by it and receive energy from the experience, especially from the connection and just the energy of creation is also very high frequency. So it could be, not only good for them, not just like depleting of like, oh, now they have less because they gave me some, but it could actually be amplifying for them. Their gas tank could be getting filled by the experience of us giving and receiving. Um, it can, what, I feel like there's a couple other nuances I need to talk through for my body to hear it. Um, beyond that, it can also be good for them. They can have, the experiences that serve them. Like you can learn a lot and grow a lot and get to experience a lot of yourself in, in a certain experience, in the act of um, serving, in the act of practicing patience and saying, oh, I was getting on a roll, you know, doing the formatting. I didn't, I, you know, I kind of would prefer to stay on a roll and keep formatting, but I'm gonna choose to pause to help you brainstorm search terms because I wanna take the opportunity to experience myself um, experiencing patience. So they can